Alright everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing my gaming review on the new Moto G Power 5G 2024 edition. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have a few video games that we're going to be testing on here. Of course we have Genshin Impact, the last one we're going to be testing. The second one we're going to be testing is PUBG Mobile and the first is going to be Call of Duty Mobile. Now, before I start any video games, I want to tell you what type of internals we have inside of here. I want to tell you the pros and cons about it. Now, on this $299 device, we do have the Dimensity 7020 which isn't the most powerful processor out there. It is a newer processor, but it's really not that powerful of a processor. So video games, you know, like Genshin Impact, I don't think are going to be playable on medium settings, but we're gonna see if they can limp by on low settings and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't think for the most part, video games are going to look crazy or amazing or anything like that. If you guys are looking for a good alternative that's actually cheaper and you want a better gaming device, the OnePlus M30 5G is out on Amazon right now for $249. So that's $50 less than this device. And you get a Snapdragon 695 5G processor inside of there. And obviously there's other phones that you can get as well. Let us know in the comment section down below all of the people that have a better phone than this if you guys can recommend something better let the people know in the comment section down below but if you are set on buying the new moto g power 5g 2024 right here what you can expect in here is eight gigabytes of ram which is actually pretty high for 299 dollars i don't really see that a lot i think most of the people can agree in the comment section as well i don't think we really see that on 300 devices that much we also of course as i said before a dimensity 7020 in this device we have a 5000 milliamp battery capable of turbocharging at 30 watts so that's even more wattage than the galaxy a55 which is like a 500 dollars device almost so that's great that we see that in here we can also charge at 15 watts wireless charging which is something that we've never seen on this device amazing to see that this year as well and if you guys are you know hardcore gamers this battery is going to last you a long time and if you guys are moderate users you guys can easily pull a two air with this moto g power 5g so those are the pros and cons about the video games on this now we're just going to get into some real world use and actually play the video games so Let's go ahead and start off with Call of Duty Mobile first. All right, guys, so we're finally booting up a game right here. And as you guys can see in our settings for audio and graphics, we have a graphic quality at high and we have a frame rate at very high right there. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. Man, this speaker is really good though. It's very, very loud. Um, I think I only have it up like halfway too, so you're going to have a very good time with this since we have stereo speakers on this device. It's one of the other things I do like about this device, especially during video games. I hate phones that don't have dual speakers because I tend to cover one up with my big hands, so yeah. Ah, oh, totally missed that. But this game plays perfectly fine. Totally fine. Cool. Alright guys, so we are now on PUBG Mobile right here. Uh, as far as our graphical settings, we are going to be set to HD on here, as you guys can see right here, and our frame rate is going to be set to high. So, I'm going to see how this looks. So far, the textures and everything look fine. Uh, shadowing looks okay. And uh, I was driving a little earlier as well, and it looked okay as well. Um, wow, almost got eliminated right there. <laughs> this is how driving looks on PUBG Mobile right here. Let's go and test this out. Oh snap. It's 
phone is heating up a little bit as well. Just to let you guys know. Oh, heard somebody. First guy. Nah, G. Nah. <laughs> so, recoil wasn't that bad. Didn't really uh, lag or glitch or anything like that. So, looking fine so far. PUBG Mobile is definitely a playable game, even online. And of course, last but not least, we have Genshin Impact right here. I'm gonna go and test this out. Probably gonna work on low graphical settings um, at the highest. So, uh, yeah, let's go and check this out. Also, this phone is getting a little bit hot. Uh, I guess it's 43 degrees Celsius uh, in its core temperature. We can also put the performance mode on turbo as well, which we're gonna go and try on here and uh, see how this looks. All right, guys, for our graphical settings, we're gonna go and check these out right now. If we click on graphics, our graphic quality is gonna be low by default. So it looks like it can run that pretty smooth. So this looks fine so far. Um, it doesn't look great. Absolutely does not look great. But so far, it looks okay. It's playable. It's not going to be the greatest experience and I don't really even recommend playing this game. Uh, on this type of phone, but it is a playable game on here. It is going to lag though. It is definitely going to lag. So let's go ahead and take that 60 frames for a second. Let's go ahead and drop that to 30 because it doesn't seem like it can handle that that well. Oh, I guess it was on 45. So let's go back to 30 and let's see how this looks. So this looks a little bit better. Still kind of slow though. What up, y'all? Boom, boom, boom. As you guys can see, there is some slowdown right here. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, so on low graphical settings, uh, we can play this game, however, it is not the greatest experience. As you guys can see, 44 degrees Celsius for our core temperature in here, it's using 62% of the RAM. Not the greatest running for uh, Genshin Impact. As far as like video games though, it seems like it can run PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile very, very well. So anything at that level and anything under, it should be good. All right, guys, so that was the gaming test or gaming review on the Moto G Power 5G 2024. Uh, I was only playing the game for like 15, 20 minutes and it heated up on the back. It's not anything that's crazy hot, um, but it did get a little warm and a little uncomfortable as well. But as you guys saw, it ran PUBG well. It ran Call of Duty Mobile well as well. Uh, but Genshin Impact, Genshin Impact on low graphical settings, 30 frames per second, even on turbo mode, it doesn't run all that amazing. So if you guys are looking for a phone that can run Call of Duty Mobile decently and PUBG Mobile, if you're not into Genshin Impact, then I feel like this is an okay phone for video games. It's not the greatest in the world, but with its Dimensity 7020 and its 8 gigabytes of RAM, it should get you through. So... That was my review on the Moto G Power 5G 2024. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and if you guys wanna see more videos like this one, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video. This has been Safan from Sekrite. Peace out, Sekang.